What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. Today we are talking about pressure washers and, well, maybe the best pressure washer. So if you're interested in what I have to say, stay tuned. All right guys, today we are going over Vortex pressure washers. That's Vortex with two X's. That extra X means, eh, well, that's extra quality and extra mile when it comes to your pressure washer. So I'm really impressed with this company. If you haven't seen them already, you need to go check them out on their website at vortexpressurewashers.com and also like them on Facebook. So Ron, the sales manager slash designer slash expert slash awesome dude came down from Plymouth, Michigan today, and he put on a little demo for us at the Durbin compound. So we are going to go on over to Hilliard Lawn and Garden. My buddy Josh set this meeting up, and uh, Ron's going to walk us through some features of the unit. I'm going to roll in some close-ups. We're going to do some uh, short video, and then we're going to show you guys just some accessories that you can get with this pressure washer. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, this is a four gallon, 4,000 gear reduction unit. So what we have here is a gearbox. So we've slowed this pump down to 1450 RPM instead of 3400. Okay. This unit here is a 4,000 direct drive. So that goes straight into the motor, so that's running at 3400. This unit has about a third more oil in it, and it has a heavier duty head. Some of the major features we put on these, if you want to, put your hand on this pump. I know it's cold today. Oh yeah, we've been running it for, what, 15, 20 minutes I'm almost? I'm standing here talking everything with a gun off. This has a three foot, half inch radiator hose. What that's doing is cooling that pump when your gun's off. So when you're on the phone drinking a cup of coffee, it's keeping that pump a lot cooler. Where normally you have an inch of water and when that thing's running at 3,400 RPM and you're talking on the phone without using the gun, it's like running an engine with no oil. Right, right. And you burn up a pump, pump in no time. Very fast. We also put a brass Y filter down here with a long screen on it so you can clean it out. Okay. We put all stainless steel fittings on the units now. Yep, which was very easy to use when we were out here. Yeah. The brass ones are always hard to get off. Absolutely. There's a place to hold a gun, stainless steel fittings over here, relief valve, 390 Honda motor. Under here, there's a hole to be able to get to the recoil bolt. Yep. There's aluminum axles, bushings, solid shafts, solid tires. Cool, run flat tires. You don't I have like all it. those air tires and things, and they normally got a short axle, so they bend. Uh, all aluminum frame. Powder coated silver, uh, and it's lifetime on the frame. Because of this bypass hose in the filter, AR gives us six years on the pump. Mechanical. Everybody else's warranties is three to five. Cool. Honda motor is always three. Uh, very easy to move around. You, know, you go ahead and grab that. Right. You can and we unloaded it out of the truck. You can walk all over that and I get tangled up in the hose. Yeah, and we, uh, we wrangled it out of the truck fairly easy too. They come standard like this, Let's see. where you lay the hose in this pocket right here. The gun goes right there, and that's the way they come. You can add a hose reel, which mounts right to those two bolt holes. Got it. Cool. And how much does the how much does a reel like that? Uh... About two hundred twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah, that gives you the post, the extra hoses, which makes it easy to hook it up. Very you cool. You use the hose that comes with the unit to. Uh, roll onto the hose reel. So you can turn these machines down, correct? I can, turn yes. it, I can turn it down how far? I'd rather you didn't touch that. Okay. We're setting them up so you get the best efficiency out of the pump and the motor. Okay. I would rather we use different tools, like we use that roto deck cleaner, which we can do wood siding, plastic. If you're careful, you don't take stickers off. Right. Uh, the foaming bottle. You use different tools. Okay. You also, out of here. Um, so basically using the right tool for the right job 
will yes. keep you from having to goof with the regulator turning it up and down. Exactly, because the problem is you're never going to get adjusted again. Understood. And, and the way the unloader works, there's a spring in there. So when you let the gun go, that spring's going to build up pressure and shift. Now the water's going to go in bypass mode, which is right here, yep. which is shifting through that hose. So that's going down about two, 300 PSI pressure instead of 4,000. When you turn the gun back on, that's going to shift back up. If Got you it. turn that unloader down too much, that spring's going to be really hard pressure. So it's going to take more pressure to shift it. To unload I, it, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I adjust it. When the gun's off on this unit, it'll be about 4,300 PSI. Gun's on, it's about 4,000. If I turned it farther, I'm not going to get any more pressure out of it. But now it's not going to shift until it hits like 5,000, 5,500. So you're jolting the pump, the unloader, and it's not going to last long. Got it. So right. why they design them that way, I have no idea. They should let us just set them, but that's the way they come. Okay. Cool. Uh, they also have, normally when you're starting your power washer, you got to stand here, hold the gun open, try to hold the unit while you try to pull it. Yep. These all have easy start, so you don't have to do that when you start it. Yep, that's a thing I've always struggled with, and I hate it. Yep, it's hard on your back, it rips out the recoil, it catches halfway through a pull. Right. So this gear reduction unit, how much are we talking price-wise? About 2380, 2280 I think it is. Okay, so uh, real quick, let me ask you the difference between belt drive and gear drive and why I should go with the gear drive unit. Okay, when we bought them from AR, I worked with General, I worked with Cap, but we really like AR. AR had this gear drive. When I built the belt drive, we have exactly the same pump. The only difference is I'm adding a gearbox instead of a pulley. Right, and it's oriented differently. Yes, the motor and pump has to go the other way. Frame is five inches wider and weighs 40 pounds more. I always felt nobody ever really adjusted the belts, trying to get the thing straight so the pulleys are running correctly. You got the cover on it. Some people used to say they thought they ran cooler away from the motor. I personally think when you got the covers there and everything, that's going to run hotter. Now we got this thing way out in the open, plus with the radiator hose, we're keeping it cool. Cool, very so cool. So we've got them at TA Truck Stops, I got them at Pilot, I got 32 of them at the Baltimore Orioles doing all their stadiums. 10 hours every night, 350 foot of hoses, 32 of them running at once. So, you know, they used to run belt drives, but they, the women can move them around. That's why uh, TA Truck Stop and Pilot Stores buy them. Women can start these with a Honda motor and they can walk around with them very easy. Outstanding, cool. All right, so the foam cannon was pretty impressive out of this. I own other foam cannons um, from MTM Hydro and stuff like that, and this foam cannon was pretty darn good out of a four gallon per minute pressure washer. All right, guys, like you heard Ron say, you want to use the right accessory for what you're trying to do. You don't want to be turning the regulator up and down on the pressure on this AR pump. So what we do is we use the correct uh, tip or the correct accessory for exactly what we're trying to do. Here I am running the roto, uh, the roto deck uh, attachment and what this does is it basically fans out the pressure into a shroud and uh, it is really safe for wood, siding, uh, boat decks, all kinds of stuff that need very little pressure. So instead of turning your unit down to a thousand PSI, you can use the rotodeck attachment and get the same effect. So you would need to get really close to get off some caked on mud or some really uh, you know thick dirt, but you're not going to tear your stuff up. So uh, it's a totally different kind of tool. All right, now this is the turbo nozzle. I was used to using a around 2000 PSI pressure washer and I really got close to the concrete on this bad boy and it started to actually tear it up. So when using this attachment, I had to uh, get further away from the concrete to use it. So the next attachment was probably my favorite. This sludge pump is absolutely, uh, it's just astounding. I had no idea how crazy this contraption is, but it basically will flow 15 gallons per minute per gallon, uh, per one gallon a minute on the pressure washer. 
So you have four gallons a minute on the pressure washer. This thing is capable of 60 gallons per hour to pump through this thing. As you can see, it fills the bucket right up and in no time, the five gallons are gone. <laughs> now guys, I had no idea that I was gonna be operating a sandblaster today. Uh, the sandblaster attachment was pretty darn cool. Uh, we sandblasted that metal and it did pretty darn good for just the little pass that I went at it. I didn't get very close. Um, but you could just see that this is great for bumpers, all kinds of stuff that you would want to sandblast. And we used a product that is dust free. So this was really cool. All right, so probably my favorite thing is this tri-surface uh, cleaner here. This thing is awesome. Let's hear Ron talk about it. Right. Yep. What do you call it? Uh, tri-surface cleaner. Tri-surface cleaner. The reason is we've got totally different than anybody else's. We have two guns on the unit. This is cold. Yes, it is. Why are we doing it today? I don't cold. know. <laughs> Somebody's bright idea. Okay, we have two guns on the unit. When he hits the right gun, it's gonna turn three nozzles underneath that are gonna make it spin. The problem with that, in my mind, when you wash these driveways and stuff, when you're all done, all the dirt's still there. You didn't wash it away. Yep. You gotta unhook everything and hook up a gun and try to rinse it away. I added this broom on the front with four nozzles. So now you back up at the left gun, you wash all the dirt away. You can also <laughs> move this over to the corners. Can't do it again. Move this over to the corners, hit either nozzle and take off gum or uh, do edging. Okay. Okay, let me turn this back up. <laughs> So, uh, Ron, before you start the unit, yep. um, you just turned the water on. So traditionally, I would have to purge through a pressure washer so that I didn't have any air bubbles and it Should. wasn't cavitating the pump. Yep. So I don't have to do that with this unit? Nope, I haven't been. Okay, so you just crank the water yep. on, let it rip. You just want to make sure it. your water's on because that will burn it up because the, the bypass holes it won't help you if you have no water. Okay, all right. You can walk, you can move it faster, it'll clean. All right, so Ron was saying, I pull the left side here and I can wash this away. All right, cool, very cool. To turn your nozzle. So we turn the nozzle here. I put quick release nozzles on there, so if you plug them up, you can change them. Right. But sometimes you have to adjust them. Very cool to just be able to blow it away. And Josh is getting a free cleaning of the parking lot. I'll just leave it. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I just tested out one of the best pressure washers I've ever used. So the accessories that went with it and having Ron by my side to show me a couple different things uh, was absolutely amazing to have. So uh, Ron, thank you very much for coming down. Uh, the guy is full of energy. He's running a million miles an hour. It was hard for me to keep up with him and that's saying a lot. So I appreciate his time. I appreciate Hilliard Lawn and Garden. Josh, thank you for setting it up. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you haven't checked them out already you need to go on over and check out vortex pressure washers now it's time to give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever you guys are into and if you're subscribed to the channel well i guess we'll see you guys in the next video